Boonface Presentations proudly presents Hello there. This is John Richard Klein, the Cassette Master. On this presentation, this is the Wallen Sack 6020 AV reel to reel tape recorder, and today's date is December the 2nd. 2019. This recording is being made at 1 and 7 eighths inches per second. I hope you enjoy this tape recording. This is a manual level control machine. Now please set the speed to 3 and 3 fourths. Now the recorder is running at three and three-fourths inches per second. Let me just get a drink of water. Oh, drink it out of a jar. Am I right? So it's a pretty good drink of water. Boom. Okay, I wound. I know. Now let's set the speed to seven and one half. And oh yes, I know. I said it like that. I could say seven and one half. You know, seven and one half inches per second. Now the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder is being ran at seven and one half inches per second, or. I could say the tape recorder is being ran at seven and one half inches per second. Why, hello there, this is Ricky Klein, the cassette master. Or I could say, why, hello there, this is Ricky Klein, the cassette master. And this is being ran at seven and a half inches per second. I hope you're enjoying the recordings on the Wall and Sack 6020 AV reel to reel tape recorder. The microphone being used to make these recordings is a sure. SM57 with a homemade pop filter. There it goes again. Burp and I failed. Oh well, I just have to realize that I just can't burp. Oh well. Yeah, I know, it's a squeaker. To record, you hold down record. You do start. Deposit, you do that. Pause doesn't work so good, and sometimes the tape still wants to pull because of the very strong tick up drive. Play, pause, play. rewind and fast forward, it's not momentary and pressing the stop button will release it. But you can also manually move it. <laughs> this has a VU meter, volume and tone controls as well. The V meter is only active in record mode. Here's a side area. External speaker. Line output. Record monitor on off. Line input. Unbalanced microphone. Everything's unbalanced on this recorder. 
and a quarter inch, much to the chagrin of Jordan Tuck and John Clark. This unit has an interesting handle design, like this. Plastic, of course. Here's the back of the unit, a lot of plastic. You can see something stamped on there. This was obviously used by a school or something like that. Wall and sack 3M, St. Paul, Minnesota. Okay, I'm going to stop speaking like that. It's getting ridiculous. Uh, anyway, fortunately one of these cord holders is broken off. But anyway, it's a very interesting recorder. Rubber feet as well. And I should shut the top cover for Pete's sake. And this is only AC line operated. It uses two motors, as you'll be seeing in the internals on mechanical operation that will have been shot before this, but will be edited in afterward. Here's the inside cover, showing the tape path and instructions about monophonic recording and monophonic playback. It's always interesting little deal at the very uh, top here, this little pressing area. And the top with the wall and sack 3M label looks very similar to the top of the wall and sack cassette recorders. And there we go. That's the top cover mounted on the machine. Just some handheld camera footage to show more of the machine up close. It's a lot easier to get footage like this without using the flaming tripod. Very interesting tape recorder. And a uh, very cool unit. Yeah, those recordings are annoying, aren't they? We go back. Failed. The interesting thing is to compare these two machines. This is a wall and sack audio visual uh, themed reel to reel recorder and a cassette recorder. Here's the cassette recorder and the reel to reel recorder with the covers taken off. You can see there are similarities between the machines. They're both American made. And um, both rewind and fast forward have a similar back and forth motion to control them. The start and stop are very similar. Oh well. So, quite something indeed comparing wall and sack cassette to wall and sack reel to reel. I love these machines, especially these wall and sack cassette recorders are built like bloody tanks. They are amazing. There's even similarities between the style of the A connecting to the V. You can see it on both machines. Now I'll be coming to internal showing of the uh, mechanical operation of the reel to reel. Stay tuned to a new presentation on this recorder. I have made a video of this recorder as far back as 2007, but I think it's about time I make a uh, Better qual a better quality video of this recorder because that one I did back in 07 I used a crappy camera. We're looking at elements of the wall and sack weird design. This was supposed to have foam on it. The foams, of course, is completely crumbled with age and gone completely bad. Look up close at that. Look at the pattern. This goes inside like that. I'll show you more, but I'm going to have to get more foam on here first. New foam, that is. Using my trusty hot glue gun, I have hot glued some little cut pieces of foam on to this wheel. We're going to see if that gets it to work. The foam is way too thick. The reels like to turn together. Which is not good. Because look at this. AC bias. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely want to put something thinner there. So I'm going to have to put some felt there instead of the foam. Oh dear. Focus. Okay, now I got red felt on here instead of foam. It's a lot thinner profile and it should work for the system. So we'll put it into the recorder's uh, mechanism here. There we go. Oh yeah, I think this will work. I can tell it's definitely a lot 
thinner. I think this will work. Good news already, it does not move the other reel when I move this, so that's a good sign. Rewind. Oh yeah. Fast forward. Playback. Fascinating piece of equipment. This operates in a very interesting way. Depending on the direction that the second motor turns, the felt idler either goes up or down. Forward and fast forward, it stays down and the felt acts as a clutch mechanism. Fast forward, it also goes down. Notice when it was stopped, it went to the top. When it goes to the top, it engages rewind. When stopped, I'm guessing braking is just done by the belts. That's not the best braking system, but oh well. Huh. Interesting design. This is actually black metal. I thought it might have been plastic when I first saw it. And um, Speed Selector is plastic though. Speed Selector moves the uh, idler wheel up and down. And when you go to seven one halves, this switch is activated to do equalization, and then I think three and three fourths and fifteen—I mean three and three fourths and one and seven eighths—both use the same equalization. One interesting thing about this recorder is the way the pinch ruler operates. And then the pause. Rewind. The mechanical part of the rewind here is to disengage play mode. If you go into play mode and then you go to rewind or fast forward, it automatically stops it for you. But that's all the mechanical function of this rocking thing over here does. But what about up here with the up and down motion? That's just dictated by the motor being turned on and off. And of course the direction the motor turns. There's a switch right here that gets activated. Rewind. Fast forward. And then in play, the other switch gets activated. What an interesting design. Bonsack really likes to think out of the box, don't they? And then here's the amplifier area. Whole one side of the board isn't populated because there was also a stereo version of this machine made. And this is a mono version. So the stereo version would have had another knob here. It would have had um, a meter right there as well. And the other side of the board would have been populated for the other channels amplifier. You can see where the output transistors would have gone and so forth. This is just a half track mono machine. The stereo one would have also had a speaker placed there as well I imagine. This one just has a speaker on this side which apparently is literally glued in place. I see no screws, no metal retaining pieces or anything for that speaker. This has been a Cassette Master production.